Hey guys, long time no see, welcome back to the channel. There's kind of a controversy in the Swart Pylon community on how to adjust the air fuel ratio on your bike once you add like an air box and an exhaust and if you decat it. Um, they run really lean from the factory. So when you do that, they're going to run even leaner. Um, some of the problems people report is the bike will stall out, um, surging while you're at a uh, constant speed on like the freeway holding, you know, 6,000 RPM. You'll feel the bike surge is like a little bit of wind or a hill pushes on you. Um, those are some of the symptoms. Um, the 390... Uh, Adventure community has since figured out the stalling issue was caused by uh, valve adjustment. So if you're having a stall issue, that might be something to look into. Get your valves checked and adjusted. Um, other people say that it's an air fuel ratio thing. Anyhow, I digress. There are two ways to adjust your air fuel ratio on these bikes. One of them is already on there from the factory if you have a 2020 and up bike. There is a adjustable fuel pressure regulator. You have to increase the fuel pressure by 12%. I was originally going to show you how to do that on this channel, but an opportunity came up to buy some used products. And we've got a box sitting on the table here that needs to be opened. So we're going to open it up and see what I got. So this became available on the Swart Pylon Facebook page. And I sent the guy a message and told him what I wanted. So he sent out the items. So we've got a Fuel X Lite, which is for a 2022 uh, VIP Pylon or Swart Pylon. And then he sent me the, uh, the bike cover. So I got both of these for like a couple hundred bucks. I thought it was a good deal. And it saves me from having to take the fuel tank apart and all that stuff. But anyhow, on this unit here, It basically plugs into, in between your, um, your OBD2 sensor. So the only thing that this unit does, which is the only way on this particular engine to change the air fuel ratio, is it interpolates um, the O2 sensor and then it adjusts uh, the injector pulse width uh, to make up for whatever other modifications you have on the bike. Now this is a self-tuning unit. It's gonna shoot for a target AFR between 14 and 14.3. That's my understanding. Uh, it's a pretty robust little unit from the reviews I read. Uh, if I remember right, I know exactly where this uh, O2 sensor is, so that's the first thing we're gonna take a look at. I'm gonna read through the instructions and I'll show you the location where to connect these. If I remember right, in a previous episode, when I took this cover off, the O2 sensor wire was right behind here somewhere. In fact, I can see it, it's sitting right here. So basically what we've got to do is we've got to take the seat off, route those wires down to there, and then zip tie the unit inside there, turn the bike on, start it up, make sure all the LEDs flash correctly, and we'll go from there. So here we go. I guess the first thing we'll do is get the seat off. Oh, something I found out recently. You see these little Husqvarna tabs? This is the Ergo Pillin seat. These pop off from your stock seat and then clip right into the new seat. So for some of you that were wondering where these little emblems are, they're on your original seat. You just gotta swap them over. Okay, now that we're in here, we've got to route the wires through. This little area down here, I believe, is where we want to go. 
and then get the unit mounted in here somewhere wherever it needs to go where it will fit I'm gonna get that ignition coil off there and try to get those wires routed down in that area There it is right there, just like I thought it would be. Now I gotta figure out a way to get these cables routed down there. I see an opening. There is a slot on the fairing here that runs right alongside the gas tank. That has an opening. And the connector will slide all the way through there. I'll show you guys here. So right down this tunnel here, see the wire goes all the way through? That's where you want to run it. So you're basically just disconnecting the O2 sensor and then reconnecting it male to male female to female if that makes any sense so this little clip pops off and pull it out you're just gonna interrupt the signal here All right let's run this through the frame before I do that that way Everything is kind of concealed inside that little space there. I see an area I can get through. Let's start this over here. Let's go through here with the smaller end first. Nope. 